What's up, people? Back with another uh, 52 week money challenge update. Despite you know the coronavirus epidemic that's going on, you know, you still got to maintain life and stuff like that. I'm still getting up, going to work because I have a job that's essential. You know, I'm thankful for that. You know, I'm still able to get 80 hours a week, not really, you know, get too much overtime and stuff like that. But, you know, they, my job is open. They stand open. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, some people don't know I work for an airline company. And um, like I said, I'm very thankful to still be able to make these videos. So I'm still putting my $260 every two weeks every two weeks into my water jug. So, there's the money right here. But this week, instead of putting $260 in, I'm gonna put 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I'm gonna put $305 in in my water jug, which is right here. Still growing. I haven't skipped a deposit since November. For those of you who have been uh, following my videos, I appreciate it. Don't forget to uh, hit the like button, subscribe and comment because I do get back to all of my subscribers and you know that's also to show YouTube that you're interested in uh, videos like this and hopefully I can motivate people to put money away for emergencies you know like this with this epidemic going on for rainy days and stuff like that because like I said it's, it's people out here that that lost their jobs and jobs is closed down and you can't earn an income so you know, a lot of people, you know, we need to wake up, you know, you know, save money is never too late to start saving money. Cause like I said, you never know when something gonna happen and you don't have a job and you ain't got no money saved. You know, people losing houses, can't pay your bills and stuff like that. Or even go buy groceries for your kids, for yourself. And you know, it's rough out here, but you know, a lot of people don't think for the future. They just live for the day and the moment. But, um, you know, with this stuff still going on, I, you know, I redid my, my half bathroom and my laundry room. I pretty much got done that yesterday. You know, I might put some videos of that in there. I got my, uh, my lady and my girl outside. They plant some vegetables in the garden. So I think she went and bought some, uh, some romaine lettuce, some cherries and some jalapeno pepper so far. So they getting that together outside, you know, plant some vegetables. Got a grill that I'm gonna put together. And a lot of people talking about they bored with this thing going on. It's a lot you can be doing, even though they, they want, you know, people to stay off the streets and in the house and social distance as much as possible. A lot of people talking about they losing their mind and they bored, they don't know what to do in the house. I mean, I have kids, so they still have to get up every morning and, you know, be homeschooled. And today is no school, but they, my daughter, she's always had a Chromebook, so she was always able to do her work online and stuff like that. That's how they, you know, do their stuff in school. And my son, he's only six, so, you know, every morning about nine o'clock, my lady wakes up and, you know, helps my son with his schoolwork and stuff like that while I go to work and make a living. And um, I just wish this thing, is over with soon you know what i'm saying and so far i believe school is over for the rest of the year as far as them going back to a physical building and um my daughter's birthday is next month and i don't know if anything will be open to really do anything or take her anywhere for the summer you know so i hope the summer ain't you know ain't too messed up and we can still get out and go do some things. But I know one thing, it did mess our vacation up. We was going to go away on a cruise for spring break. And then we actually thought about uh, going to Canada. But with this coronavirus, you ain't going nowhere. 
So you just gotta make do, you know, at home with your family, find things to do, you know, work out, plant some vegetables, you know, stuff like that, remodel your home. You know, it's, it's all types of things you can do. You know, read some books, learn how to invest, make money. You know, so I don't understand how people is bored at home. I mean, it's, it's all types of things you can do. So I'm, like I said, I'm very thankful to be able to continue to uh, still make my deposits with this 52 week money challenge thing that I started in November. And every two weeks I put $260 in there. But uh, last two weeks ago, I put like 275 or something like that. But I just, I just go to the ATM, take the money out, put it in my water jug and keep it moving like that. So I'm gonna put this money in here. Like I said, I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna do this for a whole year. And I hope I motivate other people to do the same thing, whether you're an adult or a kid. You know you should always put money up. And yes, I do put money in the bank. You know, some people think because I'm doing this, like I don't save money in other places and stuff like that. But yeah, I put money in the bank. And I invest in the stock market, even though it's not doing good right now. I hope, you know, once this thing is over, I plan to make some money from that. I mean, I can sell the stock I got, but, you know, stock market is an up and down thing anyway. So I want to invest for the long haul and hopefully see that grow. And um, it was actually nice the other day. So I, I mean, I got out and rode on my motorcycle. I rode my motorcycle to work because I don't think we're gonna be able to do any group rides this summer with the coronavirus going on. So I rode to work, put my GoPro on and I'm upload that video soon. So y'all stay tuned for that. So I'm upload that video, you know, it's just some vlogs, stuff like that, you know, nice scenery. So um, stay tuned. Thanks for uh, supporting my channel. Don't forget, please, please, I can't stress this enough. Hit the subscribe button if you didn't subscribe. Like the video, that shows YouTube the algorithm that you're interested in the video. And leave a comment, you know, if you got any questions or if it's something that you want to see or if it's something that, you know, I can do better to make my videos better, leave a comment. You know, I don't mind, I, I, you know, I, I accept all criticism, whether it's negative or positive. You know, I hope, you know, I, I'm, I hope I get more positive comments than anything. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, I, want, I just want to motivate people to save money. It's like, you know, it's a lot of young people out here. They're trying to compete with each other on social media. And, you know, a lot of people feel as though if this person buy that, well, I got to do up, do one better than them. And I got to buy this and stuff like that to show this person that I'm better than them. But, you know, what you need to be doing is trying to, set your future up financially and, and all that other stuff will come later but some people you you, you just can't talk to them and like i said I'm, I'm doing what i gotta do to uh provide for my family get up every day go to work stay positive you know i'm doing things around the house and um keep pushing forward with this 52 week money challenge so no matter what goes on or you know, stuff like that, I'm gonna to continue to put $260 every two weeks into my water jug right here. You know, it is growing. So like I said, stay tuned for some more videos. Hit the like button, subscribe, leave some comments. Peace. Yeah.